Hello again, everyone. I'm Tatiana, you're watching My Tiny Zoo, and today we're gonna be feeding all of my tarantulas. I wanted to start this video off by showing a little update on the bioactive upgrades I did for my T. Albo Shelley and my T. Vegans Harper. I have those rehouse videos up on my channel if you want to see exactly how I upgraded them to their bioactive homes, but in the videos I did say that I wasn't quite sure if the plants would survive or not. As you can see, in both enclosures the plants are doing just fine. Even with all the webbing and rearranging that my tarantulas have been doing, both pothos have somehow survived, which is awesome. I water the plants once a week, and that is how my tarantulas receive their water as well. If anything changes with these plants, I'll be sure to let you know. Anyways, it's feeding time. Let's start off with Shelly, my tea elbow. Today, we are feeding everyone crickets, but they also get dubia roaches, hornworms, and mealworms sometimes. I like to give all of my animals a wide variety of food options because it's better for them in the long run. And she took that first cricket, no problem. Since she's a big girl, let's see if she'll take a second one. Yes, that's two crickets down. And we have to include a little clip of her happy dance at the end. Moving right along, in this clip I'm trying to feed my OBT. She doesn't ever come out of her burrow, so I didn't really expect her to give us a show. And I was right. She doesn't seem interested in the cricket at first, so I let it go and you can actually hear her snatch it. Snatched. Wow. And while her teeth are preoccupied with something else, I decided to lift up her hide and peek in at her. Oh, I see her little legs. I see her. Oh! <gasps> Tyler. There she is. She's kind of a pile of legs in this clip, but it still shows you that wonderful orange color that OBTs have. Next is my T. Vegans Harper. She spends all of her time down in her burrow, and she actually closed off the opening to her hide, so I think she might be molting soon. But let's try to feed her anyways. I pulled the substrate away. Sorry, Harper. It takes a while, but I finally got her attention with this cricket. Let's try another one. Even though she took two crickets, she doesn't want to come out of her hide. So this is the best shot I can get. Saving my best for last, we have my green bottle blue. As you can see, she made some pretty intense webs all over her enclosure. I just love how this species webs everything. It takes her a while to show interest in the cricket, but she finally comes out of her hide. And wasn't that just the most graceful strike ever? I love this tarantula, definitely one of my favorites. This GBB will be getting an upgrade soon, so stay tuned for that video as well. I hope you enjoyed these feedings. I'm really itching to buy some more tarantula species once it gets a little warmer where I live, so if you enjoyed seeing this video, leave a comment down below of what species you want me to get. I can't make any guarantees, but I'll definitely try my hardest. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week.